Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I've had my morning tea. Love tea in the morning, anytime, but I have to be careful with the caffeine. My favorite tea is the Royal Blend by Fortnum & Mason, and it's a little bit of a treat to start my day. So I'm going to open my gift from Beyond the Pink Door. I know what gift number nine is because it was supposed to be six so I don't know what color so let's open that first I have it right here as I say every morning this has been such a treat to reach into this box of little presents and open up a gift what color I got. It's a very nice pink cushion. I've seen other people open theirs because this was actually day six. I got them mixed up, opened the wrong ones. Very nice. Nice and steady. Not too big. I think it's going to be perfect for the job. Thank you. And plus it's so cute. Today I'm wearing the Union Street Tee by Hey June Handmade with a pair of shorts. Yes, we're still experiencing very warm weather here. I started my sewing journey sewing with woven fabrics. I did a lot of children's clothing, projects, home deck that kind of thing so this is one of my first knit makes and not the most expertly made the hem is a hot mess and i think there are a couple things contributing to the hot mess of this shirt one i don't think i had a walking foot when i sewed it which was crazy. I just didn't know any better. And then the other is the fabric. I had some scraps of this fabric. Now it is super comfortable to wear this fabric. I love it against my body, but not the best to work with. I recently made a pair of leggings for my granddaughter out of scraps of this fabric and it doesn't behave too well even with all of the tools so while i was wearing this and was regretting i didn't buy more because i couldn't find it again now i'm kind of glad i didn't buy any more of this fabric i do need to get around to making myself more union street tees because the fit is so good on me so that's what I'm wearing today. Our plans for today, Charlie wanted to do something together. We are gonna go to Middleton Place as long as the weather holds out. It might rain, but yesterday it was overcast all day and didn't rain, so it would be a good day to be outside. So I'll look up and see what's going on at Middleton. If the weather holds out, I'll bring it along with me. And then later in the afternoon, we have a funeral of the mother of one of my childhood friends to go to. And then I've got some sewing projects I want to finish up. So let me show you really quickly where I am on a couple of my projects. I'm going to be teaching a pajama making class for work. I have already sewn a pair of the Jamie pajama pants. I just need to hem them. and. When I get that finished, I will ask Barry if she'll try them on and let me snap a photo that I can share with you. And then I'm making another sample because we have two suggested patterns. They could use the Jamie pajama pants or a pattern similar to that or the loungewear set. So I have cut out the front piece of the peppermint magazine loungewear and here we go i have embellished it as you can see now i have not 
done anything other than cut out my pieces and I finished the embroidery right before I left work. Thought it would be nice for people to see how they could embellish their pajamas if they would like. I mean, that's the fun thing about making your own pajamas is you can make it in the fabric you want and you can make them as fancy as you please. Now, I haven't decided whether these are gonna be pajamas for me or for my sister, Julie, but <laughs> it's so cute. This is some Tula Pink flannel and it's called Holiday, I believe. It is the most luscious flannel I have ever felt. I did remember to test to see how much it shrank in the wash. You're welcome. So it shrank between one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch per yard of fabric. So this is gonna turn into a pair of loungewear shorts. Now let me show you my progress on my Jackson pullover. Did I need another sweatshirt? No, <laughs> I did not. But Tamlin from Sewn on the Time was talking so much about how she loves this and it's her favorite pattern for sweatshirts and has so many of them. I thought, well, let me try it. So this is as far as I have gotten. I am using a little bit of this, a little bit of that to make it because this is my first time making it. And I could tell from measuring the pattern pieces that it was gonna fit, um, but I wasn't sure how I would like, how it would sit on me and if I would wanna make any little adjustments. So I used big scraps of leftovers and this is where I am show you all I have left to do is to put on my cuffs and on my hem band and then see how I like it I will say it came together beautifully so well drafted Helen I don't know if you can see this but I used the Kylie machine Advent calendar label nailed it from last year's calendar. I thought it matched my serger thread and the Frenchie fabric. So that's where I am. I'm going to play with it some more. And later today, I want to take you to the sewing room and show you some of the features I love about my new try -out. Back from Walking Martin, we're not going to go to Middleton Place. It's drizzling outside. I have clipped my waistband to my Jackson pullover and I've divided into eights. So I will gently stretch the ribbing as I surge it onto the pullover. Normally I baste first and then go to the serger, but I think I'll be able to go directly onto the serger because of some of the features on this machine. So I'm going to turn the camera down and I'll show you what I'm doing. I have the camera set up so I don't have to try to straddle the tripod and sew at the same time. But let me turn this and show you how I'm gonna load it in. So I'll lift up my presser foot. And I think I'm gonna start on a side seam which is very easy to find because of all the color blocking I have done. And make sure I've got this nice and flat under the foot. And this is where it's so different from my other machine. Because this is longer, I can really place this better in the machine. I'm going to start a little bit to the back because I'll have to come around and get this nice and neat. And I've got a speed control here. I'm going to go slow. I may be blocking your view a little bit, but I need to be able to hit this head on because this is my first time trying this directly on the machine. And as I sew, I'll just pull this 
ever so slightly. That's why I divided it into eighths so that hopefully I won't overstretch it. Just put the presser foot down. Kind of line this up nicely. And here we go. I need to come over to my correct seam allowance. Remind myself this is not a race. It's going to be slower this first time as I get used to the machine, and that's fine. I'm going to be saving a ton of time in the long run with this many cozy things. I will be making that will be a good thing so far so good I don't feel like it's out of control of course I'm going really slow and I don't feel like I'm overstretching I don't feel like I'm losing this Taking my time. I could probably go faster than what I'm doing, but that's a okay. I'm going to continue around at the same speed and then I will show you what it's like. I'm tempted to increase the speed, but I think on the first go around, I'm just gonna go slow. I'm tempted to increase the speed, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go slow. I'm gonna finish this, and I'm gonna show you how it worked out. The waistband went in really nicely. No waves, no puckers. My seams lined up really well. So I think with a little more practice, I'll be able to go faster. I'm gonna get more practice right away. I'm gonna add my cuffs. I think I'm gonna end here for the day. Charlie would like to do something together. So I wanna add my cuffs and I'll see you tomorrow morning.